Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, now we are going to discuss the VHDL data objects. Let's start with the discussion. So, the first VHDL data object is signal. Now, what is the meaning of data object signal? Signal is used to hold the list of values. It includes the current value and the number of future values. So, if there is a requirement of defining a signal, then signal data object you can use directly while coding the program. After that, the next data object is constant. If you want to store any value that is a constant value which will not change then with the use of this constant data object you can assign any value to any variable. It will not change its value while simulation of the program. The next data object VHDL provides is a variable. To hold any value while simulation of a program then you can define the variables inside the program to get the final results directly. It will not change its value. It is just used to hold the value of a number. That is the use of a variable. Inside the variable you can store the value. It will hold this value for the compilation purposes. Next data object PHDL provide is a file. So file is the interface between the program and the host environment. If you want to read the data from file, you can use this data operator. You can use this data object. And if you want to write any value to the file, then also you can use the data object that is file. This is all about the data object file. So we have the data objects. First is signal, second is constant, third is variable and fourth is the file. With the use of all these data objects, you can store the numbers as per the applications. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.